Welcome back to my living room. So this is running off of localhost. Um, one thing to mention, apparently uh, the MetaQuest browser won't resolve um, .local um, uh, autoconf um, domain, so I have to go and freaking type in the IP address of my machine over here uh, manually. But anyway, you know, first world problems. So here is the dev version of Zinjs UI, and I've been trying to work a bug, uh, work around a bug in the in the um, in, in um, the browser. Basically, it doesn't seem to support storage events, but that's my hypothesis. So we're about to test that. Um, so this is the new thing where I can. Oops, I didn't mean to maximize the window. I meant to spawn a new development window, and look, my multiple windows. Now, super annoyingly, it's switched tabs over here, but... So, this is actually connected to this, or at least it is in theory, and it's gotten the code from here. Um, I'm going to do the simplest change, which is just to make the the thing spin a lot faster. Um, and we're going to refresh. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Um, let me, thank you keyboard, let's go here and let's just comment out that line of code. So my goal for this weekend was to basically get self-hosted VR development working for the Vision OS, uh, Vision Pro device <laughs> before I get a Vision Pro device. Um, and, uh, well, that's interesting. Where is the cube? There it is right there. So that is, I'm 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 also able to develop XR products in, X, in, in XR immersively. Um, if I go back to um, browser here, I can put the spin back in. Okay, so let's refresh it. Spinning a bit fast, okay. And we'll go back to the session and I'll walk around. And oh my god, here is a giant spinning cube. Um, uh, hello world, this is all done with Jinjs VR. The bug that I was working around was it regarding storage events, which don't seem to be supported on the MetaQuest browser. So what I ended up doing was polling, and I had to write a bunch of idiotic code to go and make sure that the same event wasn't logged multiple times, and basically just implement storage events from scratch. Uh, but anyway, it works. And um, so this, this is the next test. If I switch tabs here, that window automatically closes because it's no longer relevant. And then if I click over here, and I can pick this up and move it over here, if say, um, and yeah, so we've got a working, um, I can go over here and say, for example, change the, um, Uh, let's just call it ID, for example. Um, I used a dreaded double quotation marks. Would, would it matter? Well, so did the original code. And I'll go and hit, hit return here. And now it says ID, so it's a live change. Now, we're still handicapped by the fact that text selection on... Um, oops, I don't know what I just did then. Text selection is absolutely terrible. Uh, I don't know what the undo gesture is, but I'm going to need to support undo um, before I'm going to go fairly crazy here. But, I mean, just the fact that I can build this on my computer over here and launch it here and be in the environment and then make minor tweaks either here or on the computer. And mind you, I can bring up the computer's monitor in this space as well. But, you know, keyboards. Um, that is it. Hello world for self-hosted development using 
JS UI and uh, and the MetaQuest browser, one of the uh, worst browsers on the market today. So uh, see you later. <laughs>